how do you add in gluten into back into your diet? Like, do you have any best practices for that? And what about it increasing antibodies? Another, you know, thing I'll say about the gluten um, diet is that um, there is a very small study, there are a couple of them, with a handful of women that show that a gluten-free diet decreased TPO antibodies, right? And I said that, oh, maybe it's selenium with vitamin D. Um, my TPO antibodies went down when I stopped gluten and dairy-free diet. Amazing, yes, because when I got diagnosed, of course, I got diagnosed. You know, I was like gluten-free, dairy-free, and I did it for a year and a half, but I was like tired. I was stressed out. I was exhausted following these rules. And then the more I looked into the research and used common sense and interpreted blogs and somebody else's conclusion, I realized that like, okay, there's this, this is not a way to live. And so I went back to my normal eating and... I lost weight. Well, I lost like a few pounds. Um, my TPO antibodies decreased. My inflammatory mar markers decreased. And I think that's because I removed the stress from constant planning, constant worrying about, or, you know, not, not going out with my friends because I'm afraid of what that five ounces of wine will do to me. I, I mean, I think to me, it was the, one of the biggest shifts. And I mean, and TPO antibodies went down on a, you know, normal diet. So there's never a one fits all approach.